Alright, so there's a lot going on in 67, so let me get into it. First off, it's a part A is a conservation of angular momentum problem, but we need to find the total momentum of the of the uh, balls at the end of the massless rods. So we don't need to do the mass. Uh, we don't need to do the rods because they're massless. So we just need the i eyes of the ball balls at the ends. So m r squared. They're point particles. They're not like full out spheres or anything. And so the mass of each one is two. And the distance from the pivot point is 25 centimeters. So that gives a, each ball has a moment of inertia of 0 0.125 kilogram meters squared. But we have two of those. I don't want to do like a cross product. So times two. So the total I of the balls is. 0 0.25 kilogram meters squared. And now part A, conservation of angular momentum, the initial angular momentum equals the final angular momentum. And that means the angular momentum of the balls plus the angular momentum of the putty equals the angular momentum of both because they stick together. BP, hey, how they doing? Uh, so this is the I of the ball, initial angular momentum, uh, velocity of the ball, plus the I of the putty, the angular velocity of the putty initially, equals the I of the ball putty, times the angular velocity of the ball putty. Uh, this is zero because it's at rest initially. So we got, uh, and the putty is coming in at a certain velocity, which they give us. So, and that's a point particle also. So that's just uh, m r squared, and omega is v putty initial over r. So one of these cancels. And that's going to equal. I B, which we already figured out, plus I putty times omega ball putty. Mass of the uh, putty is 0 0.05 kilograms. R, the distance of the putty, is the 25 centimeters. One of those cancels this R, so we only have one R. And the velocity <coughs> of the putty initially was 3 meters per second. That's going to equal the eye of the balls is 0 0.25 plus the eye of the putty is mr squared. That's this right here. 0 0.05 times 0 0.25 omega ball putty. Oh, don't forget to square that. <coughs> it's easy to forget because if you cancel this out, you might think, oh, MR, but you know, it's actually MR squared. So solve for W BP, and you get 0 0.148 radians per second. Cool, so that's part A. Part B, let's try to fit in here, because I'm going to run out of space. Part B, it's asking for the ratio of the, let's see here, the kinetic energy after the collision to that before. So after is using this, so it's one half Ke after over Ke before, which is one half 
I total actually I should say I BP times omega BP squared over one half M of the putty V of the putty squared because this is just moving straight along the putty um, this is before not ball just so you know this is a B alright so uh, IBP is this so I'm not going to rewrite this I'm just going to go one half times draw an arrow here to every everything in the parentheses here times 0 0.148 squared over one half and the mass of the putty is 0 0.05 and the velocity was 3 squared that ratio is tiny 0 0.0 Zero, one, two, three, four. Let's skip five for the fun of it. Six. So basically, one point two percent of the kinetic energy uh, is still in the system. So part C is pretty cool. Uh, we start off with the with the at the position here, right? The putty hitting over here. So it starts off with uh, this this kinetic energy, but as it drops, as it swings through, it's gaining kinetic, losing potential, right? But then once it hits the bottom, the reverse happens. So it's on the way back up. It's losing that kinetic that it gained from here to here, going back to potential. So you should be able to see by now, at this point in your physics career, that whatever kinetic it gained down, going down, it lost going back up. So when it's over on this side, after it's gone 180 degrees, it has the same energy as it had right at the beginning. So what we're trying to find now is the little extra. It goes up. So we find this little angle, theta, and add it to 180, and that will get us what we need. Well, we know the length of the rod is this, so that's uh, 0.25. So this side of the triangle is 0.25. The height is what we're trying. Uh, no, what is the what's the boo? Um, yeah, we're trying to find the height that it goes up because we're going to do conservation of energy. And with the, with the height that we find and the hypotenuse, we can find this angle and add that to 180. So we know that the this kinetic that it has just after the collision is going to also be all that's left here, and it's going to run out by the time it gets up. So that kinetic after is going to turn into gravitational potential. So what does this equal? This 1 half times all this crap times 0.148 squared. That equals 0 0.002778, and that's going to turn into mgh. And we know the mass. Um, by the way, another thing to think about is we only need to find the potential energy of the putty. Why? Because whatever potential energy, so as it, as this ball and putty swing up, this don't forget the other end still has a ball connected to it as well. So the potential energy gained by the ball and the putty, uh, well, sorry, there's ball and putty over here, but then there's just ball here. So the potential energy gained by the ball is going to be exactly canceled out by the potential energy lost by this ball here. So really all that we have to worry about is the potential energy of the putty going up. So we're just going to use the mass of the putty here, which was 0 0.05 times 9.8 times h, solve for h, we get h equals 0 0.005669 meters. So now sine theta equals h over, let's just call this r, 
this 0.25 radius thing is r. So that gives us a theta of, I'm just going to skip some steps here, pardon moi, 1.299 degrees. So the total angle it moves through is 180, because it goes down and up, plus that. So theta total is 181 point, let's just round to 3 degrees. Cool, that was quite a problem. We used conservation of uh, angular momentum, we used conservation of energy, some other little trickery doodads, like the canceling, some nice logical arguments that might not be super obvious at first, but hopefully that made the nerdy, more nerdy of you a little bit excited when I discussed how that the potential energy of this ball canceled with this one, so we only have to worry about the potential energy of the putty. I thought that was kind of cool myself. The nerd that I am. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go read some calculus books for fun. Bye.